Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm presenting the steam from Slayer Espresso. Slayer is an American manufacturer headquartered in Seattle, Washington. Slayer is a newer manufacturer, having been founded in 2007. They're renowned for their original machine, which is the Slayer Espresso, uh, which has long been known as one of the top end and one of the most desirable machines on the commercial and very high end home market. Uh, it has unique styling and uh, really makes incredible espresso. Uh, the steam was built to be more approachable. It has a slightly lower uh, price tag and it's also a higher volume machine capable of making drinks faster than the original Slayer Espresso. I'm going to be presenting all of the features of the steam and then I'm going to make a couple of drinks to show, show you the machine in action. The Slayer steam is a multi-boiler machine, uh, meaning that it has a separate steam boiler which is shared with the two steam wands and the hot water nozzle and each group has its own boiler and it's independently controlled with a PID. So you can set your extraction temperature, your brew temperature uh, on each group independently. The machine has Slayer's familiar paddle uh, to control your extraction, uh, but there's a twist on this. Uh, the paddle actually controls uh, a vo its volumetric dosing. So you have two programmable doses on each group, so there's four in total. Your middle position is your single shot, and the far left is a double. So if I put it in this position, that's my single, and if I put it all the way to the left, that's a double. Slayer has introduced a very unique feature for the volumetric dosing. What they've done is they've created an algorithm that approximates the weight of the shot uh, as it goes into your cup. So you set your volume not by not in milliliters, not an actual volume, but you set it by weight, uh, which is what most baristas are used to uh, with, with weighing shots. So I have my group set to 36 grams uh, using uh, Slayer's barista dashboard, and I'll go into that in greater detail in just a couple of minutes. But essentially, the way the volumetric dosing works is you program your weight. So I'm using an 18 gram dose and I'm going to be extracting 36 grams of coffee which is a 2 to 1 ratio fairly standard. Uh, from our tests the volumetric dosing or the uh, weight uh, approximation is uh, accurate within about 2 grams and you can actually fine tune it by changing the offset in the barista dashboard. So you would just uh, change those settings uh, and calibrate with a scale to try and get the most precise result that you can. So this is the barista dashboard, which gives you all your important information. It shows the temperature of the group, uh, the time of the previous extraction, the weight, and also the steam boiler pressure. Uh, the steam boiler pressure is only displayed on the left group, uh, the first group. The second group doesn't have it. In order to change these settings, it's very simple. You press the button and you go into the menu. The first option is the brew volume extraction weight. Uh, this is where you set your... Uh, uh, brew volume. Uh, single, you see the brew single volume is set to 30 grams and the double is set to 60 and I'm actually going to change that. I'm going to change that down to 36 grams because 60 is way too much in my opinion. And now that's set. You can also copy the setting to, to both groups uh, or to all groups. This is a two group machine but if you had a three group machine then it can copy it to the three group machine as well. Uh, to the third group as well I mean but I'm not going to do that. The next option in the menu that I'll go over is the brew group temperature. That's fairly self-explanatory. Uh, I have mine set to 89 degrees uh, Celsius. You can change the machine from Celsius and Fahrenheit as well in the second level menu, which I'll show in a moment. Again, it asks me whether I want to copy it to, to the other groups. Another uh, option here is the fast clean. Fast clean is a 12 second rinse cycle, back flush cycle. If you want to do that throughout the day with just water, you would put your blind insert in, uh, press that and it will uh, clean the machine. And then of course it has the full group cleaning where at the end of a shift, you would put in your detergent and the back flush is automated. And that's it for this menu. And to enter the second level menu, you hold the button down for a little bit longer and then you get into the second level menu where you have further controls and this is again you can turn the element on and off, you can change your temperature from, from Celsius to Fahrenheit, there's language settings 
uh, you can adjust the brightness of the machine of the shot lights, which are which are lights uh, that uh, illuminate your espresso. There's auto flushing uh, um, settings, your uh, time setting, uh, diff different things like that. The Steam also has, this is a neat feature, uh, it can save power. So if you're open or if you close, for example, in the evening at 6 o'clock, you can set the machine at 6 or 6.15 to go into power saving mode. Uh, so it goes into power save and then you can also set the end time, uh, let's say half an hour before you open, so the machine can reheat. And what, what that does, it conserves energy. And that is the level two menu. Let me show you some of the amazing external features of the Slayer Steam. The Slayer Steam features an adjustable drip tray, uh, which is uh, quite unique. Uh, I've always uh, thought this is an amazing feature. More machines should have it. Um, instead of building two different machines, you just adjust the drip tray. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna lower this down and you do that by pulling this lever out and I, I did the right side and I'll move over here and do the left. You can see it's lowered by about an inch, will accommodate larger cups, to-go cups, uh, whatever. The Slayer Steam's uh, wings, as they're called, uh, the legs that support the machine, not only look really uh, great, uh, but underneath here, which you can't see, you can also hide all of the hoses inside the, the legs, your drain hose, your water hose, and your power uh, cord, uh, which is uh, really neat and gives you a nice clean um, presentation. So now let's try this machine out, let's make some drinks. I'm not a professional barista by any means, but I'm going to make uh, a couple of drinks uh, simultaneously. I'm going to do a double shot of espresso on the right group, and on the left group I'm going to make two cappuccinos. Alongside the steam I'm using the Mazer Cold, which is one of the best high volume grinders on the market right now. Uh, super fast and super reliable. It's going to allow me to do the drinks. And the volumetric dosing also, because the machine starts and stops, it makes it easy to do these, these types of things. So again, I'm going to start with the right group. Just dry that out. Tamp. And I'll also steam my milk for my cappuccinos. Cool feature of the steam is actually, you, as you see, I went to the top position. You can use that top position just for purging and then the bottom position for frothing. Can I wipe my wand, purge. My shots ran a little bit long, but you get the idea. There you go. Uh, now I'm going to make an Americano. Uh, the hot water uh, wand here is has a mixing valve, so you can mix cold water and hot, which is really good because boiling hot water is way too hot for Americanos. So I'm going to add my water. And the dose is also programmed, so you set the time to whatever you like. Uh, so I have it set for, th for this cup here. And I'm just going to add my coffee. Again, I'm pulling a double. I adjusted my grind a little bit uh, on the cold, so that extraction was a little bit better, a little bit faster. Previously, I was at uh, 36, 37 seconds. Now I'm about at 25, which, which I like better. You can see it's a nice looking Americano, ready to serve.
The Slayer Steam is a great choice for your coffee business. The Barista dashboard is very intuitive and makes creating specialty coffee drinks very easy and controlling the machine very easy. From the factory, the Steam is available in four colors. Uh, the one I'm using is Bone Beige, which is an off-white, but it's also available in Seattle Sky Blue, Galaxy Black, and Crimson Red. Or if you want another color, give us a call and uh, we can customize it. We've done that many times before for our customers. If you have any questions about the Slayer Steam or any questions at all about opening a cafe or a coffee-based business, please feel free to reach out to us. We're always happy to answer your questions. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.